<coughs> Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, again, I am coming one uh, conceptual topic of pediatrics uh, in the area of metabolism. Uh, this is a topic uh, which is a headache for all the pediatricians. And uh, as now more and more uh, research is going on this topic, uh, the number of MCQ uh, are also increasing for the DM, uh, NEET PG, and uh, even NEET SS examination. Uh, even the corporates are coming with uh, very interest in this uh, and uh, some profiles like uh, uh, basic uh, uh, investigation in combo that uh, they are offering to the uh, children's relatives for that that uh, some of the investigation will take care in some amounts like uh, basic profiles uh, they are uh, coming with the in g6 pd test uh, congenital hypothyroidism uh, ch test and galactosemia they are offering in just uh, 1200 rupees i am not at all promoting any events but i am just informing what is uh, happening to outside uh, it is not good when the relatives uh, uh, inform us that uh, this is test we want to do uh, do you know about it uh, so the basic profile in even high profile like in 6000 rupees they are doing all the iem test uh, with uh, hill prick and urine samples so basically they are dividing in three types uh, defects in the carbohydrate metabolism uh, defect in the protein breakdown and defect in the fat metabolism uh, let us start with the first uh, topic uh, which is carbohydrate metabolism and uh, seeing to the response of this video we will uh, cover the all uh, rest of the parts uh, how beneficial this video to you so in carbohydrate metabolism there are basically uh, two types uh, either uh, there is a deficiency of enzymes which affects the galactose metabolism or either uh, it is a deficiency of the enzyme which affect the fructose metabolism uh, galactose we will cover in some next topics in which their uh, e coli sepsis are very common let us uh, try to understand the fructose metabolism first in fructose uh, metabolism uh, there are uh, lots of mems Q, uh, which I couldn't understand I uh, frankly speaking and after reading so much uh, I came to very small conclusion and after that I uh, assure you you all will get the conceptual points of the fructose metabolism so in fructose metabolism there are basically two types uh, one is the benign fructose urea and one is a hereditary fructose intolerance even though uh, in both of these types uh, there is a deficiency of enzymes which affects the fructose metabolism in uh, benign fructose urea uh, it is generally why the name is also given benign so it is generally not a very harmful condition only the things which happen is the fructose is excreted in urine uh, so the benedictase which is a uh, positive in the reducing substance it is a positive and uh, for more specific tests elevan of tests we are doing so in benign fructose urea uh, just uh, the deficiency of the enzyme is phosphofructokinase so the fructose 1,6 uh, phosphate is not forming so the fructose uh, will not metabolize and will be excreted in the urines so the amount of fructose which will be taken which will be not useful for the ATP production in this child okay and the glucose will be utilized so why the another ones which is known as a hereditary fructose intolerance which uh, is become very harmful to the patient this is type of the thing which is uh, even through only not doing deficiency it also produce harm so some like uh, some uh, maybe your relatives your or some juniors will be there they are not doing work and uh, also like uh, doing complain against you when it's not working like that type uh, for latest understanding of what is doing if the allolase b enzyme is deficient uh, what is why the name is given allolase b uh, because allolase is basically uh, producing the uh, friction division of this uh, for the better biochemistry purpose you must be knowing that uh, what is allolase allolase means division what, what the fructose 165 phosphate is divided into two parts dihydroxy acetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde and why the name is given B because it is present in liver uh, and all other allolase enzyme uh, pro, what is basically producing a division of the uh, one large products so when this enzyme is deficient uh, the fructose one six phosphate up to th this step will be formed so the, what occurs whenever the we ingest the fructose ATP will be depleted to ADP so fructo fructokinase is working so all the ATP will be utilized so what it does it will produce it will uh, decrease the supply of atp and even the all the fructose up to this step will be formed fructose 16 phosphate so 
फॉस्पो फ्रुक्टो काइनेस विल बी यूटिलाइज ए टी पी विल बी यूटिलाइज एंड ऑल द रेस्ट ऑफ द ग्लूकोज वी आर ईटिंग ऑल्सो विल बी डिप्लीटेड सो इट विल प्रोड्यूस सिम्टोमेटिक हाइपोग्लाइसेमिया फर्स्ट स्टेप दिस ऑल स्टेप विल अकर इन द लीवर वी आई हैव टोल यू ना द आलोलेस बी दैट्स वाई इट इज गिवन द नेम ऑफ आलोलेस बी इट इट अकर इन द लीवर दिस स्टेप्स सो द लीवर विल बी अफेक्टेड सो इट विल बायोकेमिकली इट विल डिरेंज प्रोथ्रोम्बिन टाइम पार्सल थ्रोम्बोक्लोस्टिन टाइम एंड लीवर फंक्शन टेस्ट विल बी डिरेंज एंड सो द इन क्लिनिकली वी विल सी द चाइल्ड हिपिटोमेकली जॉन्डिस एंड ऑसाइटिस ओके यू मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट वैन एवर द लीवर वरिंग कैम विल बी डेमेज इट विल इंक्रीज द लेवल ऑफ द ब्लूरोबिन एंड दैट विल बी क्लिनिकली रिफ्लेक्टेड एज जॉन्डिस एंड द लीवर विल अफेक्टेड सो इट्स बेक प्रेशर विल इंक्रीज एंड इट विल प्रोड्यूस ऑसाइटिस and the, all the <coughs> utilized atp uh, will uh, decrease the respiratory chain cycle and it will produce lactic acidosis okay all the signs symptoms are biochemically related with this uh, cycle so the for better becoming of the physician you must be having the your anatomy physiology and biochemistry must be very strong uh so we have uh, seen this clinical feature and uh, now how would you will diagnose this enzyme is present in liver so we have to do uh, liver biopsy of this uh, child and we will see the deficiency of aldolase b enzymes in this patient and uh, thus in clinical scenario child presents with uh, up to whenever the child is breastfeeding it is uh, totally normal and uh, the mother complains that after uh, they have started the uh, fruit juice or something uh, like uh, which uh, contain any high fructose amount uh, most probably in the complementary feeding child start bloating lethargic not uh, feeding well and uh, with clinically jaundice so we have to suspect hereditary fructose intolerance and how you will treat this child once it will be diagnosed by the confirm case of the hfi uh, you have to give fructose free diet to all of this patient so this is a short summary hope uh, you will clearly understand and i uh, bad you okay uh, you will not get any mcq wrong or any uh, after uh, uh, understanding this topic thank you